Hey guys, it's Derek with Panhandle Exotics. Today I'm going to talk to you about yellow belly sliders. They're one of the most popular turtles due to their inexpensive price and small size. They originate in southeastern United States, specifically from Florida to southeastern Virginia. Because they do make great pets, we do sell them in the store. However, we want to make sure you understand how to properly care for them. The turtle, yes, it's inexpensive and cheap. That is the cheap part. The enclosure is where your money is going to go. First off, yes, they will start out small. That's because they're a baby. Just like any other living creature, they're going to grow. Growing to the size of their tank is not true. They will reach an adult size of 5 to 13 inches, sometimes larger, depending on the sex. Males are typically smaller than the females. Before you ask, no, they cannot be sexed before you take them home. They're just too young. To accurately sex them, typically they're going to need to be a few years old. Care for these guys is pretty simple with an appropriate setup. Appropriate is a key word. They are usually solitary and prefer to be housed alone unless you can provide a large tank for them. An adult yellow belly slider will need a minimum of 75 to 100 gallon tank. You can almost double that if it's going to be two or more. However, when purchasing a baby, you can start with a much smaller tank. We suggest a 20 long or a 40 breeder. We do have starter kits which will make this much easier and will come with everything you need or you can build your own setup. They will need the enclosure set up with a place to swim and a dry spot to bask. The easiest way to achieve this is by using a turtle dock, which is a ramp made out of foam that will rise and lower with the water level to ensure your pet can always get out on their own. The water temperature needs to be a consistent temperature of 75 to 80, uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This means you'll need to add a submersible water heater to your fish tank. I suggest using the turtle therm, which is an easy to use preset heater. They also need a basking spot of 80 degrees. For this, we suggest a Zoomed Reptitough Turtle Bulb, which is a splash-resistant bulb. That way, the spray off from the water uh, will typically not cause it to, to blow like a normal bulb would. They will also need a UVB light bulb. I cannot suggest this enough. It is very, very, very crucial that they have it. Without it, you will kill your pet. It will happen. We suggest a Reptisun UVB bulb. Failing to provide a UVB bulb will lead to metabolic bone disease. It is not reversible. It is such a easily prevented thing by using a $20 bulb. I cannot stress that enough. I don't care how many turtles you've had in the past, whatever, they must have a UVB light, period. For the bottom of your enclosure, you can use aquatic sand or Zoomed's river pebbles. You will also want a filter to keep the water sanitary. We suggest using Zoomed's turtle clean filter. The model of the filter will depend on the size of your tank. Feeding is pretty simple. We feed hatchling sized turtle pellets. We also supplement with small live feeders like ghost shrimp, feeder guppies, and rosy reds. For occasional treats, you can offer krill, mealworms, waxworms, crickets, different things like that, which we do carry in the store as well. We hope this helps to give you a better understanding of how to properly care for your new pet so it can thrive and be happy for many years to come. If you have any questions about turtles or like to pick one out, come by the store or give us a call. Thanks for watching our vid. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. For updates on new arrivals, sign up for our free newsletter at PanhandleExotics.com. And for free, money-saving coupons, download our free app in the App Store. Just search for Panhandle Exotics app.